Our next speaker <clears throat> is going to pick up on Reynel's story, I think probably. Carlos Vasquez, originally from Honduras, um, and came to the United States in 2002 and has gone from GED or high school equivalency all the way up to teaching himself and now is a high school equivalency instructor and also teaches a workforce curriculum for the state of New Mexico Roofing Association. So he's really focused on workplace and workforce skills. Um, and his bio is really impressive, it says. His efforts have resulted in more than 2,500 students graduating with a high school diploma and 35 apprentices becoming licensed roofers. That's pretty powerful. Carlos, I'm looking forward to hearing your story. Hello, everybody. Like you said, my name is Carlos Vasquez, and I think if, uh, 15 years ago, I was asking you where from. I say I'm from Honduras. I think everybody in the world now know what is Honduras, right? So, well, first of all, I want to say thank you to this fine audience and give, us, give me the opportunity to speak and listen about the importance of literacy and literacy and adult ed. In my case today, I'm wearing two hats because, you know, like um, they were said, you know, um, I am, I am, was adult learner and now I am adult educator in New Mexico. A little bit of my, my background, I'm from Honduras, was born and raised and born in the countryside of Honduras, uh, Tegucigalpa City, a uh, rural area, and things over there have not been easy over there. But with the support and family and friends, I would say sex was a little easier. At the age of 12 years old, I had to move to the city since in my hometown, we didn't have a high school. So I got my high school and then when I finished it, I registered, registered at University of New Mexico in Honduras. In 1996, I got my bachelor degree in electrical engineering at National University of Honduras. And uh, um, so that also made me one of the first generation in my family to get higher ed. I worked for several years in Honduras. On the other hand, you know, I do a hardship in my life and family, you know, and I needed to leave my home country, you know. So I left my home country and, you know, and for many reasons and no difference for what is happening right now. I work and few opportunities were limited, especially when the Honduran government made uh, and still make unaffected practices when sometimes I said medicine is more damaging than the disease. It was so difficult to leave my family. This, this choice was not a vacation trip. It was a journey, a necessity, and I had many dreams back then with huge ambiguity in my head. I didn't know what's gonna happen, but I never regret of that decision. Anyway, I am immigrant. I am a transplanted in USA, and every time I look back, it's just a reflection how far I have walked but also helping help, help me, you know, to see with more clarity my future. I believe that power of survival helped me to move forward, but this is not a normal rule. I know many adults like me who are immigrant or also adults who live and were born here in the United States is still struggling to succeed. As a matter of fact, I'm a, um, as an adult learner, I graduated with my GED diploma in 2003 and Catholic Charities education department here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Meanwhile, I continue working, you know, um, as in the electrical field in New Mexico, also volunteering for a program called HEP, and, uh, which help immigrants who work in agriculture and to get the high school diploma. So I was a volunteer over there back then. I always have done volunteer work. So in 2005, I had to go back to Honduras. So I was keeping, I was keep I was, I kept doing my educational work and also I created a nonprofit organization with a, bunch of, uh, with a group of friends right here from New, Mex uh, New Mexico. And we called the institution uh, Teaching for a Better Tomorrow. Meanwhile, I got my second, second bachelor degree as an um, uh, industrial engineer. Well, this is very important because for me, being a volunteer changed my trajectory of my career. I returned to New Mexico in 2008, but in 2009, I applied for adult education position in Albuquerque. Uh, this was a very shocking moment in my life because 
when I got in my interview, the person who was interviewing me, interviewing me was my former teacher when I got my GED. I taught GED in, in computer science in, in different institutions, such as University of New Mexico, Southwest Creation, Encuentro, all organizations who are here located in Albuquerque. And right now I'm currently teaching as an adult educator and Catholic charities. Um, teaching high school equivalency. I, like um, they were mentioned, also I am working with Workforce Curriculum for the State of New Mexico Roofing Association. And I have, uh, I would say, graduated um, many students, which I feel so proud for my students and myself. After all, I made myself this question, what we can do? Well, number one, I take a pledge, how help and raise adult literacy rates, and encourage family and friends to do the same. Help adults and families literacy in many ways. Number two, I become an adult literacy advocate. Today, I am sending a message, an action alert to our legislators to create opportunities and special events that impact adult literacy awareness and, and much funding for national and local levels of adult education programs. As an immigrant, I had too many difficulties and all barriers to overcome, but my experience has made me an instructor structure that I can strongly relate to my students. I always share my story to encourage success through education to inspire uh, other students. My philosophy is, you know, everybody should have access to education, but at some communities, you know, the education opportunities are minimum. Right now, we have in this pandemic many areas where students don't have internet. They have to go to public places, to a Starbucks, so a McDonald's to sit with a laptop and get a, a, to do the homework. I committed to serving these people who have been denied good education. For the most part, they are grateful for the opportunity to learn that we want to take advantage. As a teacher, I share the best of my knowledge in the classroom. And I do this with passion, tenacity. I believe the intrigue uh, about the world is the engine to fuel curiosity. I promote analysis, reflection to get confidence and critical thinking skills. I also like to stress my students, and sometimes I call, we have to teach math with rigor but love, but I call also algebra without pain. My students laugh because I always try to make a math class very easy, friendly, and always fun. What the Congress can do? Well, we here in the United States, we have a more than 30 million adults who are struggling with reading, basic reading, math skills. Those individuals struggling to read a menu fill a job application or read story at the bedtime to their children. Adult literacy is a factor in, uh, in almost every economic issue, including parenting, healthcare, workforce, education, adult generational literacy, poverty by giving adults the skills they need to succeed as a worker and parents. You know, adult education, as they mentioned before, you know, affect the economy, you know. So adults with a high school diploma are more than twice likely to be unemployed, work in low wage, live in poverty, and rely on the government aid programs that, than those with a higher levels of education. Um, also, the, uh, the, the government also, you know, have to know that adult education impact literacy and the children's, you know. Research showed that the usual, uh, you will not solve the academic achievement gap by educating the children without addressing their parents' need for basic education and training. So we have to support our adults, you know, to impact our children. So having said that, together we can break that traditional schooling. You know, we are not living in, in, in the past. We have, this pandemic have taught many things to us. We can evolve the equation in education and make more effective research and best practices. together. Does adult education and training affect the economy? Uh, at the end, I'm going to end with this. Business economic growth, you know, it's a um, we need, uh, you know, employers with skills to supply the skill of labor. So one thing I'm going to mention, I'm going to make a parenthesis. I came from Honduras with engineering degree, but being here in the United States, when I came, it meant nothing. So I felt like I was without tools, not speaking English, learning a new language, new uh, learning the network in the United States, a new learning new policies, 
where is the fire department station policy, how to fill application in English. So I had to educate myself. Took me nine years to understand, you know, the power of education as an adult. So I graduated with GED, I finished my bachelor, and also I had to teach my students, you know, a better way and a path, you know, how they can succeed, you know. Thank you so much for your time. Carlos, you're fantastic. You're really fantastic. You're amazing. You're an amazing person. Um, I, I can't imagine getting an engineering degree and then getting another one in a language that isn't my first language. So, and then giving back as much as you have given back. So thank you for sharing your story with us today. Um, it's a real pleasure to have you, to have you with us. Now we're going You're welcome. To turn, 